So we've had uh, quite a few questions as far as the hydro harness and how that fits on uh, the new binocular harness. And so from the front, the lapel right here, I do have the straps tightened up all the way. Uh, I'm a fairly big guy, so you know whatever you see here, um, one inch left on this side and then quite a bit of distance here. But that's how it looks. Um, doesn't rub my neck in the back, anything like that. Um, you will need to, on these, uh, on the harness, these are slotted females. And so what you'll need to do when you get the hydro harness is you'll need to take the ladder locks off of the binocular harness. They are slotted. You don't have to cut anything like that. You just push the webbing over and then you'll pull the ladder locks off and then put these buckles on. These buckles are slotted just like the rest, so you can pop them off. So where this would come into play, obviously like a tack event would be a big one where this would be super handy as far as having that hydro harness on. Um, yeah, guiding, you know, in and out of the Can-Am, things like that. Day hunting, when I say day hunting, meaning, you know, if you're not going very far from camp, you're gonna come back and get a big pack. Alberta mule deer, South Dakota mule deer, antelope hunting, stuff like that. It's super handy again. And like I said, with tack, because you can have your water in here, a lightweight rain jacket, your binoculars, and then your quiver, and you're good to go. So the hydro harness does fit, no problem whatsoever. Nothing needs to be cut, um, and it'll fit on all three different sizes.